I found out I had polycystic kidney disease a little over 20 years ago. My family doctor said that my kidneys were covered with cysts would be consistent with polycystic kidney disease. And if that were the case, I would have got it from one of my parents. Found out that it was my father. And then after that, uh, my brothers and I were all tested. So I'm one of five uh, kids, uh, and four of us have PKD. One in 10 people in Canada are affected by kidney disease. Now, not everybody is going to have polycystic kidney disease, but because of diabetes and high blood pressure and other genetic uh, kidney diseases, I mean, it impacts a lot of people. His kidneys are basically failing and he's at 9%, so because it's not something you can see, it's, it's very easy to brush off and not realize that someone is so sick. They came back and said, we did find some cysts on your kidneys. And um, that was it, I knew exactly what it was as soon as they said that. What we know now and can do is dramatically different than what was before. It wasn't until, you know, four months ago that I was told about the new drug that possibly could put some type of light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, to know that, there's hope, right? The Kidney Foundation of Canada is a national, uh, grassroots, uh, volunteer-driven uh, organization that's dedicated to raising funds uh, for research and patient services. The four key elements of the, the Kidney Foundation of Canada are hope uh, through the research, support, empowerment, and engagement uh, through the peer support, the, the short-term financing, all the resources that are online. It's got a great website, uh, kidney.ca. The kidney walks are a great opportunity to bring families and friends of people with kidney disease together. It's a, a chance for those families and friends to raise money for research and development, different program development. So I think the more involved you are and the more first-hand experience you have with it, the more you understand it. Maybe the more willing you'd be to pass on information to other people too. It's just um, a manageable disease if you stay on top of it, and I think your attitude has a lot to do with it. If you know someone who has it, just talk to them, right? I think not talking about it is worse, right?